Simple as my mama said when I was very young She told me not to worry son, one day you'll be someone But here I am at 21, as loaded as a stagecoach shotgun I'm sorry mama, please don't look at me I've left the basket on for this. Um, there's no real point taking it off. I reckon we're only going to do a handful of drops. If I was out there all day, just bucket, 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 maybe. When I got to Oklahoma, I was 17. My papa taught me how to work, and Lord, he was me. Working all day in that August heat, and he taught me how to fish. My uncle taught me how to drink. Well, I went to California and I had me a band Then we played in all the bars and all the southern lands Played all night and we drank for free All of my boys and me When you pass out on the floor, you're sober by 24. Alright, nothing's tangled up. Kids are clear. Well, I had a girl who loved me the whole damn time. And I drank my whiskey and she drank wine. Soon my bottle was too much to company. And yeah, we'd sit on the river and we'd fish all day And we'd drive across the country, let the radio play Seven damn years I never thought she'd leave I'm going to zero out that scale And that'll let us know how much water we're taking on board Now I'm 23 and there ain't nobody who can drink like me Soon I'll be 24 and the Lord knows that I can't drink no more Hey Bruce, you got me there? Yeah, I got you. You're at my three o'clock. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't help me, but um, I see someone with the hose and I see some flagged uh, flagged areas. Do you want me to hit the flagged areas? Where you see that guy with the, hole, with the hose, you can get that one that's flagged out there. Yep, no worries. Alright, looking for a water source. This one looks clear of any logs or debris, but could be a little bit too shallow, but I guess we'll find out when we get down there. Now I'm still, I got 740 pounds of fuel on board, so I'm still like relatively heavy. So I probably won't take a full, full bucket. Not with the basket on as well. So I might try and do a partial fill, maybe three quarter bucket or something. Yeah, this, this looks pretty pretty shallow, maybe too shallow. I'll lay it over and see how we go. Yeah, that's only a foot deep. I'm gonna need something deeper. Although at least this will give me a good idea of what I'm working with. Yeah, I've only got 500 pounds in that thing. I could probably take 1,800 pounds. This looks a little bit deeper over here. We'll try this area. I'm going to lay it over a little bit. There we go. Yeah, it's fully submerged. Uh, let's see what I get out of this thing. Ninety percent. Ninety percent. I'm airborne. 500 pounds of water, so not heaps, but
Oh, I've got an issue. Why is this water not releasing? Yeah, Bruce, I've just got a, the water's not releasing, so I'm going to have to go back and land, or at least do a lap and figure it out. Yeah, no worries. Dang. What's going on here? Long line. Everything's on. Let's figure it out. A few moments later. one on that side of the creek? No, there's two. Sometimes a certain smell will take me back to when I was young. How come I'm never able to identify where it's coming from? I'd make a candle out of it if I ever found it. Try to sell it, never sell out of it. I probably only sell one. Give it to my brother, because we have the same nose, same clothes. Uh, so he reckons there's another area to hit. Oh yeah, I think that's it in the trees. Hey Bruce, is um, is that other area deep in the trees here? I'm probably like 300 meters from that spot south of you. Yeah, I think I've got it. There's a whole bunch of trees here. I've got to bring the bucket through this opening without snagging any trees. Oh. And as you do so, you sort of get fixated on the, on the things you don't want to hit. Like looking at a car's headlights on coming traffic. Alright, we're down there. We are down there. Cool. And now coming back up without snagging the bucket on a branch. Wish we could turn back time to the good old days. When the mama sang us to sleep, but now we're stressed out. Wish we could turn back time. Alright, let's try see if it's a little bit deeper over here. I wanna get a full full bucket. None of these half buckets. Nah, I think that's about as deep as the water gets. This pond anyway. Alright, let's try that one again. Here's the gap in the trees. I reckon I'm a little bit too high at the moment. Yeah. I am, but that's alright. That way, almost touch the tree. Keep coming down, coming down. Oh, 
I reckon that's got her. What do you reckon? Somewhere about there. Oh. Yeah, that's soaked. I don't know. I don't know what more I could do. Maybe one more bucket on that uh, that first one, and that's us done. Uh, Bruce, you got a copy? Yeah, I'll put one more on that first uh, ribbon that I hit, and then I'm probably done, unless you've got another target for me. Yeah, did you find that one, that, that second one? Yeah, yeah, I got that. Yeah, I smashed it. Okay, just go on the other side where the, you see the boys there working that spot where the ribbon is. Okay, you want me to go over the other side of the creek? Yeah, you drop a few on that side. All right. I'm not really sure what the spots are that they want me to hit here. They're all in the trees. It's a little bit hard to see. So I'll just aim to the left of where I think everyone is. And I'll sort of crab along until I peer down through the uh, the trunks of the trees and get a better idea of, of what I can hit. Looking for any ribbons. So I see their gear down there. But obviously that's not what I need to hit. Um, Really all I see is this one lagging area by this tree. drop and then see what Brucey wants me to do. Alright, coming in. I'll try and get the trunk of the tree this time. I'm satisfied, got nothing else to hit. Uh, Bruce, you got a copy, Bruce? Is that good? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much done up here, I've run out of targets. Yeah, shut down for a little bit and we'll take a look at what we're working with to see what's left. Yeah, copy that, shutting down. done here I've stood the bucket up on its head just to help let it dry and um, with these cables I've you can see I've put about 
two wraps of electrical tape just to keep them neat and tidy so they don't get tangled when it goes back in the basket. I've wrapped up the long line. <laughs> this was <laughs> this was brand new and you know it's not gonna stay clean forever, I know, but it's a bit of a shame that we landed in a, in a bit of a mud pit. But say la vie. I'm gonna leave the head attached to the remote hook and plugged in because realistically I'm gonna be bucketing more than I am going to be using the remote hook for long lining. Um, I'm on fires, so I'm gonna be bucketing more than I am that thing. Yeah, in the middle. All right, you guys are all good in the back. Yeah. Seat belts, headset, sweet. Yeah. Good. Uh. All right, let's go home. Yes. Food time. Yeah, man, I'm starving. Yeah. Is there anything open at eight o'clock in uh, in this town? Yeah, I believe the restaurant's open till eleven. Which one? The boardroom. The board, oh, the the Chinese place? Yeah. What about the, like, the ptarmigan or something? Uh, I think they're up until 9 or 10. Alright, I might make it. You might, yeah. It's been raining the last couple of days. I haven't done any flying, so I finally had a chance to go over some of that footage that I shot the other day. And I noticed that the wires of the bucket were tangled. So maybe that one's on me for not going over my gear good enough before the job. But anyway, today we're going to take that uh, head apart and reorganize those cables. All right, so the way these water buckets work, we have four cables on each side, which hold the weight of the water from the outside of the bucket. Then you've got a couple of cables here in the middle. This one is connected to the head by a spring mechanism. When it's uh, activated, it releases. The udder falls out the bottom of the bucket, releasing all the water. When all the water's gone, the spring inside pulls it back up and resets it for the next time. Now what had happened was that this cable had wrapped around those wires. So what I've done is undone this D-shackle, cleaned it up, so now it's not obstructed at all. I'm going to connect it back up. And on this side, we had one twist as well. Um, so we've got the four cables here which are holding up the weight of the bucket. But this one here holds up the weight of the cage. And if we follow that along, you can see here it's twisted around this one here. Um, I can't undo these, and I don't want to stuff around with undoing those. You can see that there, it holds up the weight of the cage. So what I'm gonna do, up this end, two three quarter wrenches, I'm gonna take this apart and reorganize it. Have it. 
and now we got four here on the outside, two somewhat in the middle here, one going to the udder, the other going to the cage, and then four more on the outside, all separate. So hopefully no more tangles and no more malfunctions. The Van Balfour Victor's coming airborne uh, for the next couple of minutes, just around the area to test the bucket.